Living in Texas, should I dry deck my engine? Let me start by saying that here in Texas, it's not uncommon for us to see temperatures of 90 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 to 37 Celsius in the months of April through October. Now, that's on average. We see temperatures much hotter than that um, rather often. Um, I've already experienced my engine overheating once, and I don't care to go through that again. So I've started researching other options, things that I, can, I should consider here in Texas. Do I have to dry deck? No, I do not. But would it be beneficial for me? Do I think so? Um, maybe so. But as I see it and as I research, this is my conclusions. I have several options that I'm going with. Okay, of the various dry decking options that I see that I have available to me, um, all of them except for option A utilizes the MED uh, dry decking kit. And unfortunately, I don't have that kit here to show you, but what it includes, it includes two fittings, one for this uh, plug and then one for a machine surface here. Those two fittings, and then it includes a U-shaped hose that transfers coolant from the engine block up back up into the cylinder head, which then goes back out through the system. Thermostat, radiator, water pump. Um, now, one of the one of the fittings comes in this, and uh, if if when I choose to go dry decking, I will definitely be buying the MED kit, um, and it utilizes this, and you have to tap two holes to attach the fitting to the block. You have to machine this area, and then you uh, other two tapped holes to attach it up here. Um, but now that is consistent with every dry deck option, with the exception of option A. So let me show you option A. All right, option A. It's better described without the cylinder head. Um, option A focuses, basically it's a semi-dry decking um, where you focus on cylinder one only. And nothing changes, no, no um, MED dry deck kit or anything like that. You use the same gaskets, but what you do is you plug these four coolant holes uh, in the block or the head, I suppose. You plug one, two, three, four. That way it forces the coolant past cylinder one. So cylinder one still getting cooled down below, right? Um, and so it passes through and the more coolant better hits cylinders two, three, and four. Now I've not seen the testing or the numbers, but MED pretty much states that yes, focusing on quarter percent of the engine, it does help cylinder four. Um, so that's semi dry decking. That's a, just a 25% sample. The other sample, of course, uses the fittings, um, the hoses, and everything else, but it also includes a specially designed gasket that is uh, made and sold by MED. And what that gasket is, is it covers, it does not have holes for the 13 uh, coolant holes, right? Um, it doesn't have holes for those. So when coolant comes up, when coolant comes up the block, it basically hits that gasket right there, 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 and it doesn't go anywhere. Um, so that traps, or that keeps the coolant from coming up, and that forces the coolant uh, to the right-hand side of the engine, uh, around the U-tube, back through the cylinder block, and then back through the process. Um, you know, your thermostat, radiator, water pump. Um, so that's option B, which is a 100% MED dry deck kit. Um, option C, as I see it, is a partial MED kit. It's everything in the kit with the exception of the gasket. Now, that gasket, I'm told, is outstanding, and it can be used up to five times if you decide to go that route, if I decide to go that route. Um, inherently, I see issues with that gasket. Technically, if something were to happen with that gasket, coolant could still leak from this cavity, from that coolant hole, over into the cylinder, or 
like over here, it could leak over into an oil passageway. But again, you see cracks and gaskets happening all the time in various engines. So what are the options? The options are either you plug the holes up here in the uh, cylinder head, or you plug the holes here in the block. To me, if you plug the holes in the cylinder head, that's no better than using the MED gasket because the coolant can still leak from this surface either from, from this coolant over to an oil or this coolant over to the cylinder head itself. There's still the possibility of it leaking. Um, and so for me, it's not an option to plug the cylinder head. Uh, the only way that I like it is to plug the actual block. And that is because if you plug this hole there's no coolant going to be escaping if something happens to the gasket. There's no coolant that's going to escape into the cylinder bore or into the oil cavities. It's blocked. Now, yes, there are pros and cons to that. I don't know how much that costs. Is that going to be, is that cost going to be uh, exorbitant? Um, if it is, then crap, I don't know. I may end up with a gasket. But as of today, if I go dry decking, I am plugging these holes right here. Now, um, the YouTube channel that I watch, TurboMini.com, um, that guy gave some viable options. One is you plug the hole with an actual plug or you use a worm oh, screw yeah. and so that you could, you could tap all of these holes. You use worm screws to plug the holes. And that way, if you decided to return the deck back to its original configuration, you could easily remove those worm screws out of these coolant holes, use a regular gasket, and you're back to normal. Of course, you'd have to plug plug the end of the cylinder head. You'd have to plug the, cat, the block again, but you could return it back to normal. Well. I don't have any intentions of ever returning my vehicle, my engine back to normal. I want to I wanna select the best coolant option. So really right now, option A is to, uh, you, don't, you, you don't need an MED uh, dry decking kit. You use a regular gasket. You just plug the four coolant holes around cylinder one, either in the block or in the cylinder head. Option B is you use a 100% MED kit that includes the two fittings, the hose, and the awesome gasket that they've made um, to block all of 13 coolant holes. Option three is you use, you use the MED fittings in the hose, but then you plug the holes. So now I'm left with, okay, if I go with option C, which I'm leaning towards right now, how do I plug the holes? Do I plug them with actual plugs? Do I use a worm gear uh, plug that can be a threaded worm gear plug that can be easily removed? Um, or I guess there is no other or it's either those one of those two things. So if anybody out there, if you have done this or if you have a friend that has done this, whatever the case may be, if you I would love to I would love to hear from you. Um, because right now I'm not 100%. I think I'm going with option C um, and I'm going to dry deck it. And then there's some other things that I'm going to do, like use, I believe I'm going to go with Evans coolant. Do I have to? No. But I don't like rust developing in my engine. I just spent a few days cleaning rust out of it and Evans coolant will help me. Um, and there's, there's pros and cons of that and that's for another video. Um, anyhow, all right. So thank you. Thanks for uh, tuning in and bye just now.